But with all those obstacles, you know, why would you consider adding voice to Teams? And, you know, here's the key reasons. Um, the bundle proposition of Microsoft really does provide an opportunity for cost savings if you're a Microsoft shop. On the most recent, uh, you know, the, the Q3 2020 earnings call, you know, Microsoft says that customers can save as much as 60% um, as opposed to buying like single point separate solutions by moving forward with like an Office 365 license. Certainly there's an improved user experience uh, if people are using the whole suite of Microsoft tools because they all generally work similarly. Um, there's easier IT administration because you know you can uh, you know now your collaboration platform if you're using Teams for collaboration when you're using it for voice a whole bunch of the policies um, including the security work in the same way. Teams with voice fully supports hybrid work so whether you're working from home, uh, working from a coffee shop, you're in the office. Once you train people on how to use Teams for calling, it works the same regardless of where you are. Um, as I said, there's a huge ecosystem and it's almost limitless, especially as new vendors kind of rush in to take advantage of those 270 million monthly active users. And Teams, of course, is much more than voice. So as opposed to just a traditional legacy PBX, uh, really, you can address a whole range of you know, voice capabilities, but also um, capabilities around you know, workflow automation and all the different modalities as well. So lots of reasons uh, you may consider adding voice to Teams.